This is the Weather Extreme video for Sunday, February the 26th. We're closing in on the last part of February. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. Satellite image this morning shows we have clear skies across all of the southeastern United States. Just a few clouds over parts of Arkansas and Missouri. Looks like the sunshine will be abundant today as high pressure is settling over the area and that has allowed temperatures to drop very nicely. There's a look at our lows this morning uh, so far and a rather chilly morning for uh, this late in February as temperatures uh, generally at or below freezing from Montgomery northward. In the upper atmosphere, uh, the flow is gradually going uh, more zonal and uh, it will... Uh, become a little bit more um, ridgy, a little more uh, high pressure loft uh, over the next several days, <clears throat> but that won't stop the rain. Temperatures, uh, the current temperatures across the southeastern U.S. show a good deal of freezing weather across the Tennessee River Valley, and that dips all the way down into uh, parts of central Alabama. Watch warning map is not too busy this morning. The purple areas in the northwestern United States are uh, winter storm advisories, and the uh, large green mass you see over parts of New York and New England are flash flood watches. <clears throat> the QPF uh, suggests that on the order of one to two inches is likely across a good portion of Alabama. That coming primarily with uh, the rain Monday and again with the storms on Wednesday. And we'll have more on that in a moment. Storm Prediction Center is out looking a small marginal risk area in parts of East Texas for today. For day two, that's Monday, we have uh, just the thunderstorms forecast over much of the southeastern U.S. And uh, then on um, day uh, three, we have an enhanced risk over a good portion of the northern half of Arkansas and southeastern Missouri. Uh, that's surrounded by a slight risk that extends from the Ohio River Valley all the way down to east Texas. And then the big news is Storm Prediction Center is a little more confident in their forecast for day four. Uh, four, and that has gone up to 30% uh, for the severe weather outlook for day four. All right, let's get to the 06C GFS model run this morning. And there's the surface high moving off uh, to the east. So our, our wind will come around to the south slowly but surely. In the upper atmosphere Monday, we see a little short wave coming across uh, a general ridge pattern. And with a good southwesterly flow and lots of moisture, that means that we should have uh, some rain and some showers all the way from the eastern half of Texas all the way up to the southern Appalachians, including Alabama. The uh, flow becomes or, or maintains that southwesterly flow pattern as the ridge strengthens over the east coast. And we're watching that big trough come in uh, across and in the vicinity of the Four Corners area. So it looks like Tuesday... Uh, the chance for rain is probably down a little bit, but it still looks like we'll have showers around. The big news is that trough comes across the central U.S. on Wednesday, and uh, this spells the big weather system as we see a surface low moving uh, just across the Great Lakes region with a surface cold front trailing back into uh, and across the Ohio and Tennessee River Valleys, across the lower Mississippi River Valley into southeast Texas. Uh, the CAPE values are down just a little bit from what we saw yesterday. They're still uh, respectable, though, between 750 and about 1,000 uh, joules per kilogram. And uh, helicity values are also down a little bit, but they're still respectable around two, uh, between 200 and 250. But uh, SPC does note that in their outlook, it looks like the best potential is going to be that of damaging wind. The troughiness uh, sets up over the eastern half of the country, so it's going to allow for a little bit of cooler weather Thursday as we see a high pressure off to our north and that bringing us uh, somewhat of a northerly flow. The troughiness stays with us on Friday, so Friday's still a coolish day. Not real cold, though, as uh, highs probably Thursday and Friday will be around 60, and that high settling in on Friday. The weekend looks great as we see uh, a weak ridging beginning to occur on Saturday. And so that should keep us dry as the highs moves over to the Carolinas. The ridging stays with us on Sunday, but we do note what's happening out in the Rockies with another trough out there. And so once again, we stay uh, fairly uh, dry on Sunday, but we begin to moisten up as we see the southerly flow beginning to take effect. Now we're going to slip out one day into voodoo country because the GFS is really forecasting a very major trough 
uh, on Monday, the 6th of March, over the central U.S. And this certainly has the look of severe weather with a surface uh, low in the Ohio River Valley and a cold front trailing down uh, into the vicinity of New Orleans. So this certainly has the look of severe weather. So we need to get by Wednesday first, but then we'll have to watch that one. The GFS in uh, voodoo country is basically forecasting a return to winter. As you see, a deep trough over the eastern part of the country, and that gives a nice northwesterly fetch. And if you follow that from the Birmingham area and uh, north and central Alabama all the way to the northwest, it's coming out of western Canada. So going to be some cold air mass there. The troughiness stays with us through the 10th of March. And then in true March fashion, uh, while the trough does uh, disappear by the 13th, we also see a nice trough coming across the central Mississippi River Valley, promising another round of potentially severe storms. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video. James Spann should be back with the next edition first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day. Enjoy the late uh, February good weather and Godspeed.